Hallelujah, yeah, I love Jesus. I love Amen. the Bible, Word of God, which I really love this Word of God. I know you will, you love this Word, spiritual food in every day. I love Lord whom we serve. Not only the Lord's Day Sunday, every day we should uh, serve wherever you are, whatever you are doing. Uh, the place where you are standing, the job site, uh, work site, at the house, wherever. God is watching on the heaven. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, God is controlling you. Amen. Are you listening, my friend? God is controlling you. You might say, oh, there's no God. Oh, God, whom I love. He doesn't watch me. He doesn't care, care of me. Uh, he, he might be vocation. No, 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 no. He is watching you. Wherever you are, you should remember. Oh, I still remember that, that I was uh, very, very exciting. Amen. I was, uh, I, I was uh, thrilled when I firstly believed and uh, I want to tell you, I forced, I, I, I meet Jesus Christ Amen. as my Savior. I'm talking about that the first time, first time when I, when I go to church, you know what, you know what I'm talking to you now. We were all overjoyed when we first became Christian. Hmm? We became first Christian and initially we were thrilled to go to church and to worship the Lord. Uh, to sing the hymn, sing the song, and lift the hands and pray the Lord. Oh, that is another world. Oh, I didn't know before. Huh? I, uh, who, whoever introduced the, the Jesus Christ to you, it doesn't matter. What do you have a motivation that you believe you you had uh, believed in Jesus Christ? It doesn't matter. Hmm? We used to yearn for more of God with joy, joy, delightful in the. The Lord, whenever we came to church, yes, I still remember. I know you still remember when you, when you go to church in first time. I'm talking the first time you meet the, your Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Huh? We used to cry. I, when we worship together. Oh, it was uh, maybe 30 years ago. I, more than 30 years ago. Yeah. At the, every worship service oh, I yeah. used to do. You used to do worship. However, however, listen, my friend. Oh, my, my, my Lord. However, uh, time passed. Hmm? 
our lives have become busier and we have forgotten huh? forgotten our first sense of anesthesium when we meet Jesus Christ when we go to church in first time so when Jesus said that we need to be like uh, little children, the Bible said, to enter kingdom of heaven, kingdom of heaven. He means that we needed to be as pure as little children. You can go enter the kingdom of God if you like a child. Huh? Remember the scripture? We need to humbly worship the Lord. You love, I love. With the most reverent attitude. Hmm? Leave your his name, precious name, almighty God with love. He takes care of you. He con he's controlling you. Your savior from all the sins. I hate. I hate. I hate the evil thing. I know you do. I know you do. I love, I love Jesus Christ, my Savior. This is also the attitude that we should maintain in our daily lives. I pray. I pray now. I used to pray to for you, my, my friend who do, you know, watching. Listening my word more than two years through the internet network. I pray you will be as pure as little children, as, as Jesus Christ said. Hmm? I want you to, 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 to go back to the state of mind. You were, you were, not you are, you were, I was, I'm talking to, I'm talking to me, I'm preaching to myself. Huh? You were, in, when you first believe in Jesus Christ, hallelujah, with the purity of your heart, God, know your heart. I want you to worship the Lord in joy, in rejoice, in delight, in Jesus Christ, whenever you worship to the Lord. It is by the power of the God's grace. Oh, yes. God's favor, God's grace. Hallelujah. Uh, that I can worship the Lord with the joy. Uh, I want you to confess your sin to the Lord every day. It, you feel God know you have a pure heart if you confess your sin every day like snow. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. Pray the Lord. Give him glory. Can I get amen? Hallelujah.
Is there anybody who does pray the Lord with me now? Oh, uh, you know, Christian life on, uh, on the grace of God. Without the Without God's grace, God's grace, we live by toil in our life. It is like a desert. No water in desert. We are thirst, hungry. If we don't have grace of God, God wanna give you the favor, God's favor to you now. God's favor. We should take the God's favor in presence of the Lord. God's favor. Oh, hallelujah. Uh, Bible says Noah. Noah had the, the, the favor of God. Hallelujah. Uh, favor. It's a, it's a precious gift of the God that God is going to give to you who whom you love God. Hallelujah. If Christian children of God do not acknowledge the grace of God in their lives, they will not have joy, no joy in, in, in every day life. And thanksgiving, you know what I'm talking about. They will be negative. They will always complain and criticizing in every aspect. Whenever they meet the people, they complained, their mindset are fulfilled by the negative mind in the complaining, like a children of Israel, you know. Mm. God, God, God hear you, God hear you. You, you, you talking, talking, babbling, 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 you are babbling, babbling, complaining. Ah, oh, what happened to me? Why? Why God is going to deal with me like that? Why, 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 why me? Why, <laughs> why do I see my situation like that? Why you are not a problem to complain again, again? God hear you. Hmm? When we have the grace of God, who will be Thankful in everything, and you know, we will serve our Lord with joy. Huh? Oh, hello, thank you, Lord. Christianity, children of God, Christian is a hope of life. I said, hope, hope, eternal hope. Hope which is uh, never faded. God gave us. It's not world going to give you hope. No, no. Hope. We have hope. Oh, thank you, Lord. Hope of it, the life that God pour out the lead. Lead, lead to the heaven with this hope you have, hallelujah. Oh, that, that, that slogan. Christianity speaks of the hope from the beginning to the end. Jesus Christ, only our hope, hallelujah, for not only me, all humankind. Only hope, Jesus Christ, going to give to you, Christian, children of God. 
We can hold on this hope. I hold hope. I know you hold this hope with your face and march forward. March forward with face. Because, because, listen, listen, gangs. Listen, listen, gang. Because we have the blessing, blessing of eternal life beyond our death, beyond our to overcome the, the death. Oh, death, I don't afraid the death. Hmm? I don't, uh, I don't afraid my enemy. The Bible say, Bible say, lest listen, listen, it's, you need you you need to listen, you need to listen. Bible say, lest enemy to be destroyed is death, our enemy. Jesus Christ overcome to the death. Can I get witness? Can I get witness? We are not going to lose heart. No matter what kind of problem, the hardship, the difficulties, sorrow, or the suffering of disease you might have, cancer, you may have been Yield all those things may come to us because we have this hope, this hope which is, which is, is Beyond the death, overcome the disorder by the power of the Jesus Christ, divine power. Hallelujah. Oh, friend, Lord, give him glory, Bible. Hallelujah. Uh, we are not going to give up or step backward. I don't want to go back easy where I had been there, where I, 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 had, I had seen a long time. No, I don't want to go back to Egypt. Even I don't want to get back. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't go back. Don't go back to Egypt. Like Israel people. What Israel people said. <laughs> you know. Oh, my, my God. Huh? Second Corinthians 4, chapter 6. Outwardly, even though out. Our outwardly fade away, inwardly is being renewed day by day. Talking about the spiritual sin. Hallelujah. Uh, let me tell you. Think about the moment. Why do why why? Why do people despair, dismay, become frustrated whenever they, be, they face the problem, got the disease, something happened, they don't want to see the thing they never expect? Listen, 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 listen. It is because they cannot overcome their past, past time. You know what I'm talking about, past. Huh? They keep remembering, you know, I used to do that. <laughs> they, they, they keep remembering wounds they might have had, and the failure of their past as their suffer from past betrayals by other people's or business failure. Hmm? The past has a 
pastor. Pastor is a history. Forget pastor. Pastor is a pastor. Future. God gonna give it to you. Bright future. Gosh, reveal to you. It's coming. Bible say, Bible say, you know. Huh? That's why I don't pray die. I, 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 I don't pray death. People, people, I'm talking to the Christian. People dwell in their past, looking back. And sinking into hopeless frustration. What does our past have to do with our present? Can we change our past? Or uh, can we go back to past? Not at all. Not at all. Past has a past. As I have said. It is gone. Bye bye, Pastor. It is gone. When we believed in Jesus, all our sad, the painful, agonizing, and the bitter, bitter thing you might have, disappeared. We are New creation in the Lord. Now, Bible say, just before my fr friend said, Pastor K, Corinthians 5, chapter, 2 uh, Corinthians 5, chapter it's 17. If whoever is in Christ, whoever, I don't care, rich man, not rich man, poor man, I don't care, educated man, uneducated, I don't care, young and old, anyone. I didn't say, Bible say, Bible say. Bible say, whoever is in Christ, all the thing has passed away, new thing has come. New thing, you are new creation in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, I pray, amen. Oh, oh my God. We must replace, replace our past memory, past memory, with holy dreams and hope in the Lord. Hallelujah. We must march forward with faith. Hallelujah. Expecting, expecting. <laughs> Bright future, God gonna give it to you. Bright future, you got. We should not dwell in the wounds, despair, and the failure of our past. I pray now. Yeah, I pray. I pray that you will always march forward with your faith in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Oh, listen. Oh, my, my, I can hurry up. No, I'm tired of my stuff. Whenever we worship the Lord, we will receive, we receive, you will receive God's overflowing grace when you worship the Lord. That's why you are here now. That's why you are watching now. That's why I'm here in the pulpit. When I worship to the Lord, when I preach the good news to my friend, Oh, my, my, my spirit will be up, my, my, my you know, oh, I, I can't express them, my word. You, even you may be dis depressed, you know, sometimes you're tired, I understand, and weary when you come to the church, but it doesn't matter. You will have strength and God's marvelous grace. God going to pour out the power of God, divine power, when you worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, Holy Spirit will pour out and uh, in the, the tremendously power and strength and, uh, yes, 
Termina. You will love. Hallelujah. We wake up to the, through the suffering to make us focus on Him. All I trust Him. When we suffer, it is a chance to God will give it to you more attention, more favor. It is a platform to step up through the suffering you might have, you might illness, disease, problem, difficult, hardship. Do not give up. Don't throw the, your the towel to the ring. Don't do that. Do not give up. Hallelujah. But God is in control. Hallelujah. Okay, I, 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 I'm going to tell you the JCP, 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 JCP story before I'm closing. Okay. You know, do you know JCP? He is the founder of JCP department store. He, you know, once he lost everything. Hmm? And uh, sank into a personal depression. He almost gave up everything. He was on the verge of death. You know, J.C. Penny made a big fortune, which he, he heavily invested bank and real estate. He got a lot of money. He had a lot of fortune, you know. But in the 19th century, he lost both his fortune money and health too. Hmm? So his friend introduced and uh, uh, you know he read Centurion. He was Centurion a long time to cure the mental problem and everything he had. So listen. The because he take a rest and the medical the treatment he was going to take and that century on. So, but there was another event which spiritually restored him. This is, listen. One morning, he awake before breakfast and he wandered the corridor in the in the centurion. He had heard the sound. It was him. Him. He had heard. He remembered before when he was childhood this song. So he followed the sound and he he found the chapel where doctor and nurse are worshiping. So Holy Spirit touched him as soon as he heard him, which he remembered this song when he was a childhood. God healed and restored his depressed mind when he had heard this song of him. He, he got the revelation from God. He stand up, up, started the business again. What happened? You know, you know, he loads up from his despair and built his department store, which God greatly 
Bresle, J.C. Penny, more than 1,700 stores in America now. Because God, God, God pick up when he became his Peter of God and rose up with his face. God blessed him. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, do not give up. Do not step back. I want to march forward with the face fixing today's the text. Today's text. Fixing your eyes on Jesus. Fixing your eyes on Jesus. The author and the perfecter. He is the perfecter of our faith. Hallelujah. See you later. Don't give up. And focus on this broadcasting. Bye-bye.